Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We are so excited that you are able to join us today. My friends from Watoto Church Chengera are ready to praise. Come on and praise God with us together. Clap like this. Come on. Hey. loves us and he Jesus loves you too. Now right about now, mm. are you guys ready to play? Before we play. Do you want to play? Before we play. Uh -huh. Pastor Dora. I have my things in my uh, tika I, I had a notice. Yeah. You come with your tika I show you. You have goodies. Ah, uh, they are mine. Let me give the children some. Yeah, these clowns are not behaving. Ah. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Hey. So we'd like to play a game. 
And the game that we are going to play. Yes. Uh, now, cloud number one, go right here. Cloud number two also, this side. And the Pasadora with the Uncle, Uncle Ronnie Biggie. Yes. Hey, Uncle Ronnie Big. Yes. You stay right there. Now, children, so from here, from here. like that, all right? Yes. So that is your team. Extend the that is your team. Are you ready? Extend, extend. Ah, yeah. Extend. Ah. ah, let me ask which team is going to win? This one, this one. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Which okay. team is going to win? All right, now listen. There is another team the other side. Oh, Children, yeah. you also oh, belong yeah. on another team. Yes. And your team, I am sure your team is going to win. And I'm on your team, all right? So the game we are going to do, we are going to do animal sounds. All right. We are going to make yeah. animal sounds. Ah, we are going to make animal yeah, sounds. Animal eh? sounds. Yes. We are going to make animal sounds. sounds. So when I say, our, uh, if I go eh? to your team, these are going to be the dogs. The dogs. Can you make the sound of the dogs? <laughs> Wait, I had a cut from that side. A dog, 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 dog. These are dogs. Uh huh. Ah, uh, these ones are cats. Uh -huh. Can I hear making the sound of cats? Ones, my friends out there at home or at school, wherever you are, you are going to be the sheep. The sheep. Can you make the sound of the sheep? <laughs> now, these are the instructions. Uh -huh. When Ako Kapale points to your animal, you make the loudest of that animal sound. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. Are we ready? We are ready. Come on, are we ready? We are yeah. ready. Are you ready? The children are ready. One, two, look at Ako Kapale. Three, go! Welcome, welcome back from that moment of worship. It was so fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, children. My name is Uncle Kapale Francis, and with me, I have special friends. Welcome to our service today as we get ready to learn God's Word. So next to me right here on my right, we have... My name is Jonathan Oshindi, and I am 13 years old. 13. Do you know that you're handsome? Do yes. people tell you that? Some people. Hey, yeah. Yes. All right. And uh, right here on my left, we have. My name is Sky J. Shemeza, and I am 12 years old. Absolutely. It's good to have you guys in our lesson today, and the children are ready to learn God's word. Before we dive in, all right, let's first pray. Jonathan, pray for us. Uh, let's bow our heads and pray. Mm -hmm. Holy Father, I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for the provision. I thank you that we are here with you today, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, as we go through this lesson, let us understand and learn your word, Lord Jesus Christ. Guide us with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you Amen. so much, Jonathan. We are starting new lesson series, all right? And our theme is My Identity Defined, okay? We are going to learn more about who we are, our identity. But for the next couple of weeks, we are going to be answering different questions. The first one will be, who am I? Who are you? Who are you? Do I know you? Oh, who are you? The next one we will answer, whose am I? All right? And then later on, we shall also answer question number three, what on earth am I here for? But specifically today, all right, we want to answer question number one. Who am I? Who are you? Sky, who are you? I am God's child. I am wonderfully and fearfully created. Ah, how about you, Jonathan? Who are you? I am the same as God's child. Uh -huh. I am his heir. Uh -huh. And I believe that I am 
beautifully made. I expected you to tell me, me, I am Jonathan Ushindi, right? Aha, uh-huh, me, I'm called Kapale Francis. That's what I expected. But anyway, I would like us to read, uh, you're going to help me and read a story from the Bible. There are four Hebrew boys, all right? You want to know who are they and what happened, all right? As someone was trying to change them. So open Daniel chapter 1, verse 3 to 8. You're right there? Okay, read for us that story. So children, open your Bibles, Daniel chapter 1, verse 3 to 8. And I want us to follow as Kai reads us the story. Uh Uh-huh. King Nebuchadnezzar was furious, so he sent for the three young men and said, I hear that you refuse to worship my gods and the gold statue I have set up. Now I am going to give you one more chance. If you bow down and worship, The statue, when you hear the music, everything will be all right. But if you don't, you will at once be thrown into a flaming furnace. No God can save you from me. The three men replied, Your Majesty, we don't need to defend ourselves. The God we worship can save us from you and your flaming furnace. But even if you... But even if he doesn't, we still won't worship your gods and the gold statue you have set up. Nebuchadnezzar's face twisted with anger at the three men. (laughs) And he ordered the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than usual. Next, he commanded some of his strongest soldiers to tie up the men and throw them into the flaming furnace. The king wanted it done at that very moment. So the soldiers tied up Shadrach, Shadrach, sorry, Shadrach, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meshach, mm-hmm. and Abednego mm-hmm. and threw them into the flaming furnace mm-hmm. with all of their clothes still on, including their turbans. The fire was so hot that, f- that flames leaped out and l- killed the soldiers. Suddenly, the king jumped up and shouted, Weren't only three men tied up and thrown into the fire? Yes, your majesty, the people answered. But I see four men walking around in the fire. The king replied, None of them is tied up or harmed, and the fourth one looks like a god. Wow. So I want to ask you guys, if you are in that situation, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, what would you have done? Jonathan, hey, if you're in that situation, what would you have done? Since I believe in God, uh-huh. and I believe Jesus saved, uh-huh. died on the cross to save my life, uh-huh. I would do the exact same thing because I know my God is very powerful and he can do anything. Really? Yes. You, you want that God? You're this, ah, please, 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 please. No, I'd rather Sky, die. What would you have done? I am not so sure, but I would be so, so scared mm-hmm. because it was like they made it hit seven times as... Uh-huh. as not it was very hot. Yes, very, very hot. Very hot. Leave alone this fire that you see at home. The other one was very, very hot. Now, children, you see these four Hebrew boys... Even though their names were tried to be changed, for them they knew who they were, all right? That's the most important part that I really liked from the story. They knew who they were, all right? Even though the king, the leaders in that country, all right, tried to change their names and scare them off and throw them into the furnace, the flaming furnace, but they stood, they were confident, all right? They stood up because they knew their identity is in, is in God, and no one could change them. You see, every time, every time, this story encourages us that every time when we are challenged, let's remember that God is always on our, our side because he defines us. But also that reminds me, what do people say about you? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they say about me because I don't even ask. So I don't really even think it matters because even though you say anything about me, uh, what exactly matters to me is what God says about me. That's what I believe. Ah, okay. How about you, Sky? 
it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, because like they can say, let's say, some mean things about me, mm -hmm. but I might not be there to hear them or the see them. <laughs> yeah, so I might not be there to hear them. So yeah, I don't really care about it. Yeah. Absolutely. You see, children, COVID-19 brought so many things, all right? So many things changed. Some of us, we had to repeat classes, you know, some of, some of us, we lost our parents. Some of you, even you at school, some of your teachers, they called your names, right? They called you, you are failure. How could you, how could you fail this number? Jonathan! How could you fail this number? They call you different names. They, they say you can't amount to anything. You always get F9s, F9s. But children, I want to remind you that your identity, all right? Your teachers don't define who you are. Your friends don't define who you are because God has already defined who you are. You are a child of God, all right? But also, what, what does God say about you? He the says, fact that he has defined you. What does he say? Uh -huh. He says that I'm his child, uh -huh. that I'm wonderfully and fearfully created in uh -huh. his image. Uh -huh. He says that I am, I am chosen. The answers. Let me also ask Jonathan. Uh -huh. uh, he says that I am made in his own image. Uh -huh. He said that I am chosen. Uh -huh. uh, he says that I'm his God is handsome like you. Very much and so. And tall like you. Very much so. <laughs> Open First Peter chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. Children, let's read from First Peter chapter 2, verse 10. And we see what really God says about us. The fact that he has defined us. Uh -huh. It says, mm. but you are not like that, for you are chosen people. Mm -hmm. You are royal priests, a holy nation, mm -hmm. God's very own possession. Mm. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God. For he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Mm -hmm. Verse 10 says, Once you had no identity as people, mm -hmm. now you are God's people. Mm. Once you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. Absolutely. You see, children, my identity, your identity is defined by God. He has defined you. All right? He says we are holy people. All right? He has set us apart all right? We are royal. We are his very own children. We are special. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. All right? So children, every day, I want you to remember that God loves you and you are his very own. Psalm 139 reminds us and tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of, of God. All right? So that's who you are. And you have been defined by God. We have been defined by God. Even when your friends call you different names, even when your friends talk about you, when, dis when they discourage you, remember that God is your father. And he loves you very, 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 very much. All right? Now, children, you might be there and you're wondering. You're saying, Uncle Kapali, Jonathan, and, and, and Sky, you guys, you're talking about identity, my identity in God. God defining me as his very own child, but I've never given my life to Jesus. You see, children, it is never too late because God loves you, all right? He loves you, he cares about you, and he made you in his own image, all right? So today, we want to invite you to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And I will ask Sky to lead us in that beautiful prayer. You ready? Yes. Awesome. Let's pray. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. Today. Today. I want to invite you. I want to invite you. In my heart. In my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my one and only Lord that I serve. Be my one and only Lord that I serve. In Jesus' name I have prayed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Awesome. You see, very simple. Now you are a child of God. All right? He, he loves you. The Bible tells us that our names are written in his palm. And I want to tell you, children, your name is written in Jesus' palm. And now, right now, he's looking down on your hand. He's very, very, very happy. 
all right? But also I would like to pray with you, okay, before we end our lesson because the worship team is waiting for us to go and dance for Jesus, all right? Let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much, Jesus, for reminding us that our identity, my identity, is in you. You have defined me. I know who I am today because you say I am beautiful, I am wonderfully made, I am chosen, I have been set apart, I am special, all right? So Jesus, thank you so much. I pray that Lord, you will give us your Holy Spirit. I pray that I will give your children your Holy Spirit to remind them every single day that they are chosen by you and you love them very, very, very much. We pray and we bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 So children, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up on your feet. We'd like to join the worship team as we sing more for Jesus who has defined us. Welcome back children from the lesson. We know that you've learned so much from the word of God. And we would like you to join us as we sing about the goodness of God. You've been so, so good to me. You've been so, so good to me. No two things where I would be if not for you, if not for you. Join us when we sing together. You've been so, so good to me. Yes, he has. You've been so, so good to me. Oh, to think, oh, to think where I would be if not for you, if not for you. And let's sing with one voice and welcome his presence. So come, Jesus, come. Let your presence. Let your presence rain down on us. Flood over me. Flood over me. So
together let your presence rain down on us flood over me flood over me so come with every hand lifted up let's call upon the presence of god one more time so come jesus come let your presence let your close your eyes and repeat this prayer after me Jesus we welcome your presence into our lives and in our spaces may we continue to be aware of your presence and may we continue to glorify your name in everything we do in Jesus' name we pray and all God's children say, Amen! Amen and Amen! Now, if God is your provider, and if you know who you are, I want to see you bounce like this. Come on. Left, right. Left, right. Ah, you're doing well. Hey, hey. Let's sing it out together. Jaira, you are now. I'm already 